I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of this exercise is to practice decision making during the Charleston. We're not going to play a whole game. We're just going to focus on the Charleston. So we'll set up tiles that will represent the incoming passes and we'll practice making decisions. Keep in mind, during the Charleston, one man's trash is another man's treasure. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations, and we'll have a mock Charleston for each one. I'll make sure there's no jokers in the mock Charleston, so we can practice decision making. We have a north and a west, one, three, five, nine singles, one, four, seven, eight in dots with a pair of fours and a pair of sevens, and then a pair of threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would hold the number tiles and build around the most of my multiples. We have four, seven, three. Three, four are consecutive, so that's what I would focus on. I would pass these, keep these, and these. Three, four, so I would keep little numbers. And I would break up the seven. Focus on little numbers, so that we could use two multiples. Really four doesn't span all the way to seven with one exception, a pair hand. And we don't have any flowers or any other tiles, so I wouldn't even think about that. So I would break this up and probably pass those three. Whoa, threes. Okay, those are keepers. Three, three, four, three, five. Oh, we have tiles we can pass. Now here, we did pick up a multiple, but we don't have any other wins, so I'd break it up. That's a little bit risky. We have one, three, three, one, three, five. We could maybe play one, three, five with threes in the middle. We have no gaps for that hand. Right here, one, three, five with threes in the middle. That's a consideration. So I would risk that. We have no gaps for that hand. So we picked up a one and a three. We have two tiles to pass. One, three, five looks really good. I would break up the four and focus on one, three, five. We could play one, three, three, five. That I think is third hand down on the card. So let's pass these. Okay, we have a five, so I would keep that. So here we have lots of one, three, five, and we have like numbers. I would not pass that. That would be very risky in my opinion. Passing like numbers is almost as risky as passing a pair in my opinion. And we got a pair and I built around it. So I would let that go. So let's see, we have one, three, three, five, one, three, three, five, or one, three, <laughs> three, five, or we could play one, three, five with threes in the middle. Use this maybe for joker bait. So I would let this go. And we still have an option to play one, three, three, five. So let's pass these. We picked up another three. Now here we have one, three, three, five. We have a pung in there. 
for one, three, five with threes in the middle, we don't need a pawn. But we could play one, three, three, five, and two suits and let that go. We really don't have to pick a hand because we have tiles we can pass. Now we have one, a one crack, west and white. We're on last right. So we could pass blind if we want to. We have a pretty risky tile there. Since we have one, three, one, three, I don't think we need that one. So what I would do is keep the dragon. If we get flowers, we could play like numbers with threes, maybe even use the dragon. So I would pass one blind. We got a flower and a nine. Those are discards. Here we could maybe play like numbers with threes, maybe the dragon, if we can get a green dragon. I think what I would do here, let's see, one, three, one, one, three, five with threes in the middle. I think what I would do here like numbers with threes or one, three, five with threes in the middle. I think I would let the one dot go to see if we can get a couple tiles. So we're gonna pass two in the optional cross. We got a one, one, three. I would let that go though, and this probably. So, Four discards, maybe one, three, uh, I'm sorry, like numbers with threes, or we could do one, three, five with threes in the middle. Probably like numbers though, like numbers, so we can leverage that pong. We have no gaps. We have a flower, red, green. Then we have one, four, five, six, eight in cracks with a pair of ones. Three, seven, eight in bams, and then a nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I probably would see if I could play a pair hand. If we're keeping one five, I think I would keep the three two. We have odds. So if we keep these, we have six, eight, eight. That would be risky. So I would let one of these go. We have one maybe the nine so we could pass one of each suit. So we're building around the one. We have two, three. I would focus on one through five, maybe a pair hand. Pass one of each suit. We picked up a four, that's in our range. Now we have like numbers. I would let this go now. Seven, eight dragon, focus on cracks, maybe a pair hand. We got a two and we have tiles we can pass. Let's keep going. No keepers, one, two, five. That's not a bad pass. Whoa, look at that. Flowers and a two. So we have flowers. One, two, pung, three, four, five, dragon. I would not pass a flower. 
but we are pretty close to this pair hand. One, two, three pair in there. Since we're playing a pair hand and we are only two away from the pair hand, I would risk it. No keepers. Let's pass to an optional cross. Okay, we got the dragon back. So we have two discards and we're probably playing, playing a pair hand here. We have one, two, three pair. We need a three crack and a five crack and a dragon. Two discards. I think that was a pretty successful Charleston. Pair hand. No multiples. Oh wait, we have one right here. Pair of Eves. South, green, one, eight, nine in cracks, seven, six, seven, eight in bams, three, four, five, nine in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would keep these just to see if they come in the first Charleston. If winds don't come around, then I would break them up. But I would also keep eights because there is a hand east and west with eights. So I would keep eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine as an option. Six, seven, eight, nine, big numbers, maybe wins. So I would probably pass these three. Now this is a little risky. I think no matter how you slice it, it's gonna be risky. So we have a dragon and little numbers. Let's pass these three. We got an eight and a seven, our first multiple right here, five, six, seven, eight, and we have a five now. So here's five, six, seven, eight. I would build around the seven, and I probably, let's see, six, seven, we could do six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. I think I would give up on these at this point and focus on number tiles. Maybe even let the dragons go. Now this would be a very risky pass right there, that would be very risky. So I don't think I would do that. We have five, six, seven. Oh, look, we actually have a hand in here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the fifth hand down under consecutive run. I think what I would do is keep the dragon because we have a lot of bams. Keep the consecutive tiles. Seven, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I would pass all that. I think I would give up a tile. The five. Okay, so we didn't really get keepers, even though we could maybe use the six. But what we could do Let's see, is maybe pass these. That's a pretty good pass. We have a odd with an even, little number, middle number, and a wind. That's a pretty good pass. Flower. And we picked up a multiple right here. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have a hand right there. We do have a hand right here. So I would probably keep these and those past these. Okay, now we have another potential hand, single pair Pong Kong with flowers. So I would let these go, probably the dragon, but I wouldn't pass like numbers. So I would let something else go in here. We have six, seven, eight, nine, we have all the eights, we have a seven, seven, eight, 
eight, eight. I would let one of the nines go. Six, seven, or seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. Let's let the nine crack go. Little numbers and like numbers with threes. Now we have two multiples, seven and eight. So I would probably pass those. That's pretty risky though. Single pair Pong Kong, seven, eight, seven, eight, eight, six, seven. That would be maybe a pair hand. Highly unlikely though. Or we could do seven, eight, nine mixed suit Kongs or six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I should have kept that nine crack. We have a pair there. The nine dot would have been a better, just a better pass. Cause then we could do six, seven, eight, nine crack, but I let it go. So I think what I would do to pass safely is break that up and let the nine dot go. Those are discards. Oh, we got the dragon back and a pair. That could be potential joker bait for us. So I would discard those, hold those for joker bait, focus on six through eight, maybe switch to like numbers because we have all the eights. Keep this for maybe six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. We've got options. The first priority during the Charleston is to build your hand. A close second is to pass as defensively as possible with your remaining tiles because one man's trash is another man's treasure. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.